how did you become an astronaut? Well, this was a, this was a dream that I had when I was a kid. Uh, but, you know, this, is, this was very difficult in the 60s or 70s for, for a kid to be an astronaut was essentially impossible. There were only few Americans, few Russians, few Russian cosmonauts. And so, but then later on, when I, when I, when I grew up, when I, I, I became conscious of uh, my capabilities, I decided to try. You know, you know what is the Carino. best? Carino. Carino. Amor. Visto. <laughs> When, uh, when I was 26, uh, somebody asked me, but Paolo, what do you really want to do? At that time, I was in the army. I was doing a lot of interesting things. But somebody says, what, what do you really want to do in your life? And I said, well, I wanted to be an astronaut, but I did not go to college. I don't speak English. And, you know, it's OK from a physical point of view. Uh, but, but you know what is the best way not to make a dream come true? Mm -hmm. Is not to try. So if you don't try, that's already, it's already lost. Oh, so, this so, can be a saying. Exactly. Uh, so, so, uh, so with the idea that if you have a dream, if you have a passion, and you believe on it, and you, and you think you can make it, you have at least to try. So I, I left the army, went back to college, got a university degree, an engineering degree in aerospace engineering, study uh, uh, in an, an American university, so I studied English. And then I was ready to apply for, for becoming an astronaut. Okay. So you started late, a little bit late. Very late, yes. Oh. Yeah, it's, 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 I started when usually people are already starting with their career. I had a career in the army, but I decided to stop it and go back to my initial uh, plan, oh. initial idea to become oh. an astronaut. Oh. Uh, Senor uh, Paolo, very limited number of people who dreamt of going to space just actually did it. 